Good morning, everyone. It is the day after retreat, and I just wanted to show you some of the layouts that I was able to do. I was doing homework until the very last possible minute, so I didn't have too much planned. And then when I was planning Friday morning before retreat, I ran out of photo paper. So <laughs> there's a uh, layout in here without photos on it. But I wanted to show you what I was able to do. And I'm so excited to be able to, to have been able to scrap again. So here we go. This one, I started with a, with a, a Pinterest um, idea and it just kind of morphed into something completely different. But this layout is about a tradition that we're starting and hopefully it continues. It's just kind of floundering right now. Um, we all get together the first weekend in December. That's close to my son's birthday. So at the end of the day, we all get together and have his birthday dinner and birthday cake. Um, but during the day, the boys go out and shop for their girls and the girls stay home and craft or bake or whatever we decide to do that day. Um, but this is the layout about that. And this is just a collage made in Picasso, like usual. That's what I usually do. Um, yeah, there's that. Okay. Next page. This one, we went out to dinner with the kids. That was all we did. <laughs> it's all it's about. Um, this is a um, Pinterest sketch. I'll see if I can link it down below. Um, and yeah, we just went to King Buffet. The kids were dancing in the car. Another Picasso collage. This is the one without photos. Grandson's first day of 4K. And I'm going to print those off today and get those put on here. This was a challenge to use a banner. So I did. <laughs> this one was a challenge to use a, use, um, a sketch out of one of the Close to My Heart books. And this is one I had actually planned for the March retreat. Actually, I think it's a couple of retreats ago that I never finished. So I probably change this out and add some journaling, but for now that's what we have. This one is of my granddaughter just helping Papa plant some flowers in the front yard. And this challenge was to use ribbon, so I turned it into a little banner. Um, and this was a sketch that I got off of Pinterest, and I know where that one is, so I can pin, I can put that down below. This challenge was to stamp a background. So all of these are stamps. I really like how this turned out. I used my um, Zutter, what is it called? Distress It All. Okay, it's pretty old. But I used that. Everyone was excited to hear. It makes it sound like... I can't even describe it to you. It's really loud. It sounds like a workshop, but everyone was anxious to find out what it was, but I really like using it. This one is, uh, it was a Chevron challenge. This is making applesauce with my daughter and granddaughter. <laughs> Getting sauced. I love that. And I cut out a little bit of the paper so that it would overlap so you could still tell it was a tree. And, oh, this one. This one is my favorite. This challenge was to use an overlay from some Cricut cartridge that close to my heart sells. Um, and this is the overlay right here. But this right here is a QR code. I made a video of this. We took a lot of videos that day. So Okay, so I've tried on my tablet and I've tried on my iPod. And I can't get any of those QR codes to work. So here being recorded in my iPod now and I'm using my phone because I know that works. So what you do is you take, um, you make your video and you upload it to YouTube or wherever you're going to upload it and you take the link of where it's located and take it to a free QR code maker. That's exactly what I typed in my Google search, QR code maker. And um, I think it took the few, first one, it was like QR stuff dot com or something along those lines and I put the link into 
the space that they provided and they created the, the code and you can download it, you can email it, you can print it. I download it so I can use it on more than one thing. But So what you do is you open your QR code scanner and it'll scan it and take you to where the video is. <laughs> so I've been trying to come up with ways to add video to my pages and that's as close as I can get right now without being some sort of electrical, technical, engineer, whatever, whoever creates that type of thing. <laughs> um, we need that, that invention. I know we had the, the where we could put voice in. Now we just need one where we can put video in. Okay, I'm going to switch cameras again. These are uh, Tim Holtz. Um, ephemera pack. I thought this was so cute. We're staying at a hotel and it's in Minnesota. Fun time. Anyway, next page is um, a YouTube video that I saw is where I got the inspiration for this. And I will link that down below. I cannot remember her name, but I'll link that down below. And I really like how this one turned out. So cute. And this is the last one. And I kind of, I had this one planned out for last retreat with the strips. Whoops. <laughs> and I added these tags or these tickets. I made them. I was trying to find something that would work and I couldn't find anything. We had no one at the retreat had a ticket punch or, and I did not feel like looking through all those Cricut cartridges that they had. So I just made them. Just took a little corner rounder and cut the corners out to make it look like a ticket. Anyway, <laughs> I did these two one right after another and didn't realize I had already planned that like six months ago. So those are the layouts that I did at retreat. I'm so happy to be scrapping again and so happy to have given you two videos in one month. <laughs> it's a good deal for me and I will see you next time. I probably won't be able to make another video for about a month or so once school is out. At this time, I'm all caught up with homework, but I can feel that I won't be that way for long. <laughs> so I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.